These ten hour work days are killing me. Got the midweek afternoon blues. The first time I saw a Breedlove guitar is actually, uh, it's pretty interesting. I went to Michigan State. They have a, there's a real nice uh, music store and walk in and there's all sorts of guitars, you know. At the time, you know, broke college student, didn't really have any money. Yeah, I would go in once in a while and and kind of play everything that was there, kind of A and B of the guitars, you know. Much about them, but I could tell you what I liked. There was one there that I just kept going back and, you know, every week it was, I would play it. It's kind of like my go-to, you know, go there and sometimes be moved around in like a different spot. I'm like, oh man, I hope someone didn't buy it, you know, because I'm going to get this one day. Yeah, I'm sure I could get another one somewhere else, but I figured I'd get it there because it's the same one I've been playing. No one really ever, no one really sold me on it. No one really said, hey, you should check this out. It's just one of those things where I just really like the guitar. You know, I, I think, I think a lot, for a lot of guitar players, it's not just um, about the specs of the guitar or the size of the neck. A lot of times you hear people say, well, this one just feels right, you know. And you can't really put any science behind that, but sometimes it just feels right. And, you know, that's the one I wanted, and, and I got it. And actually, up until... Uh, up until that's been my only guitar that I've performed with on stage. 